My name is Juan Carlos Guterres. I'm an allergy immunologist, uh, but I do work in the Department of Otorhinolaryngology, or ENT. We have a specific sinus clinic, and um, I'm part of that group that in conjunction with an ENT surgeon, we work together in the management of patients with these conditions. Uh, the pollen seasons change dramatically depending on the part of the country that you live. But most of the time in the U.S., uh, you tend to see that the fall starts uh, with increased amount of pollen, especially with weeds. It gets a lot more prominent and a lot more troublesome the farther north you go. But even in the south, uh, we are seeing a tremendous increase of pollen, especially of weeds, at this time of the year. I think it's worth at this point add one more issue is that frequently in the fall, we think that we're dealing with allergies, but actually we're dealing also with the influenzas, with the different viruses. One of the good things about allergic disease is that it's somewhat predictable. So if you have an accurate diagnosis, you can anticipate what is gonna happen. So if you, are, you had an accurate diagnosis of fall, fall or weed allergy, you could start early on in the season with your nasal steroid preparation that will try to downregulate your immune response and hopefully make your season much more tolerable. Allergies and asthma is part of the same disease. Whatever exacerbates the nose and the eyes exacerbates the lungs as well. This is another situation where allergies and asthma control, allergies and asthma knowledge and a good diagnosis can be very preventive. So yes, we can start by first assessing the level and the severity of allergies and the severity of asthma. Knowing that, we can adjust the treatments to work more in prevention. Those children who have mild to moderate to more severe asthma require different medications to be maintained under good control. Uh, secondly, you have to have an action plan ready so as soon as a respiratory infection comes, as soon, and, and these are more common during this time of, this, of the year, you're ready to act. And uh, you have to have your, your uh, acute measures ready. So as soon as the patient notices increasing symptoms, we can start treating them soon and not procrastinating a little bit the symptoms until they get worse. The children are going back to school. The fall season is starting. Definitely that, those two factors are a significant challenge for the children with allergies and asthma. Um, we need to be able to prevent disease, and we know that they react in a significant and similar way every time. So uh, a good diagnosis prior to the season, a diagnosis of severity so you can prevent disease, an action plan so you can react early on and avoid uh, unnecessary illness, unnecessary missing school or missing work, and emergency room trips is very, very helpful.